Welcome to the module on baselining a project. A baseline is a reference. What I have behind me is the CRM project. It's a customer relation management system. This helps company as a software system to follow a customer from its first request, going through proposals, buying, sales, and the after-sale support. In this project, we are following the different phases or steps in a project with initiation, followed by conception, followed by planning, followed by realization execution, and closing of the project. I'm Christian from Vision 6D, and we are at the point where you are ready with the planning of your project. You know the costs, you know the schedule of the project, and you know the deliverables. You know the scope, you know what you have to do. What you are missing is an approval from the board, from the steering committee of this project. So to get this, you must be really sure. And once you are sure, once you have your project approved, you are going to baseline it. By baselining it, it will give you a reference that you will be able to use later on to do the tracking and the control of the project. When you are baselining a project, it means that you have reserves. You have reserves in terms of time, reserves in, time, in terms of costs, and maybe also in terms of functionalities in the sense that maybe among the deliverables, some are optionals, and in case that you need it, you could easily drop them. Before to baseline a project with MS Project, you must also make sure that you don't have over allocation. You have assigned resources, but no over allocation. You need to resolve this before to baseline your project. And if there is one word that would summarize the attitude to, to have to get the approval, it's that you must really feel comfortable with your project. You must be sure that with the schedule you have, with the budget you have, and what you have to deliver, that you can really do this in a simple and easy way. If it's not the case, then you need to review that project. In the CRM project, I have added as a reserve the task number 12. It's entitled Review Conception. In fact, that task doesn't exist. It will last uh, five days and it costs 10,000 euros. This is a way to set a reserve, which can be acceptable for the shareholders or stakeholders of the project. I have also, as you can see, delayed the um, production of this system. I have delayed the day when we will start to run live the system. Like that, I have reserves in terms of time delay in terms of cost into the budget. And there is a functionality that we can drop anytime because we don't need really to review the conception. Now with the MS project to do the, the baseline, I will here start to do a first thing. I go into view and I will change the, the table that we are looking at currently. And for that, I need to go down into more tables. And you see that the first line here is baseline. So I will simply say apply and look what happens into the table part of that view. The table changed and we have now a baseline table. And you see that we find all our tasks as we had them till now. And the first column is a duration, but you see the baseline duration. 
it will memorize what we had set as duration for each task, as well as you see here the start date for the baseline, of course, and the finish date for the baseline for, again, each task. And then we find the work and the cost. So once I have this, that table here, and I really want to set, okay, now I'm really sure I can handle this project in those conditions. So I go into project here up, and you see that here I have a set baseline uh, button. So I go into that set baseline, and we will take a snapshot of our project. Now, what I can do, you see, I can select to set the baseline and it will be named baseline. If I go down here in that possibility, you see that I have 11 possible different baselines. Because of course, um, we might have changes during the project. Um, there might be extensions on which customer and the steering committee agree in the project, those changes might have uh, an important change on how the planning is going to be done in the project, how the planning evolves. So there is maybe no use anymore to continue to compare the project to the previous planning, but to compare it to a new planning. For this reason, we have the possibility to have those 11 different baseline or reference plans. It's always interesting when there are changes to keep a previous baseline because we never know what kind of question or analysis we want to do later on. So it's always interesting to be able to go back to a previous baseline or to compare to a previous baseline. So, so far, I'm just going to say, okay, baseline. We'll see later on in another video that it's possible to set an interim plan. And now we can either say that we set the baseline for the entire project, or we could select certain tasks only. In our case, we are going to choose the entire project. And for that, I will say now, OK. And you see that the changes in the table are now filled in with all the values that we get from the project. For this, this is the way in which we see that we really have now a baseline into this project. If now I go back to the Gantt chart, Nothing has changed. We don't really see here that we have a baseline upon this project. So if I want to see whether there is a baseline, I go back into the project. And here on the set baseline, if I want to set a baseline, it's going to tell us when the previous one was done. I will now go again into the possibility to, to view the content of the baseline table here. So I have the baseline elements which are here. And what I want to show you is that if you want to go back and to remove the current baseline, you go into set baseline and you can simply here clear the baseline. So here again, it will ask you which one of the plan you want to clear. So for us, it's the last one. And again, either the entire project or some of selected tasks into the project. So we'll say, okay, here, and we see that 
the table has emptied again. So I will set this back to what it was. I will set the baseline. And since I removed the previous one, I can now say it's baseline. So I say simply OK. And now we are set with our baseline. And we are now ready to move into what is the tracking of the project and controlling. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, do not hesitate, ask, subscribe to the channel, and I'm really happy to see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.